So, Imgert, welcome here in uh, La Garenne. Uh, can you maybe introduce yourself in a few words? I'm Imgert Ben Susan. I am a para athlete um, for Germany and I'm class T44, 100 meters and 200 meters. You are also a Bayer employee. Can you tell me uh, something about this? Yes, I've started working for Bayer in September last year. I usually worked at KPMG, but then I wanted to find a company that was very close to my values. And I uh, really love Bayer due to the what they're doing in women's health in Africa and in like um, poorer countries and the, um, the research that they do in crop science and it really inspired me that I wanted to be part of the change. Well I'm working as an internal auditor but not everyone can be a doctor so we all can do something to change uh, the world for better. But what are you doing now in Paris? We have our world championships this year at the Charlité and um, I'm very excited to compete there. And in which sport are you? Uh, athletics. Athletics. Sorry. athletics. It's 100 meters and 200 meters? Yes. yes. And what is your speciality? One or two? Uh, well, I'm, I've got long legs and I'm a bit slow, so I prefer the 200 meters. What happened in your life to come in the Paralympics now? So ever since I was 10 years old, our teacher asked us what do you want to be one day? And I said, no, I want to go to the Olympics. And then I started training since the age of 14 and my biggest dream was going to the Olympics and um, I was a hurdle runner and I competed for South Africa back then and um, at 18 at the national championships I fell over the hurdle and hurt my knee very very badly so I tore my cruise ligaments broke my bone and also tore my nerve I mean I planned my entire life around this athletics going to the Olympics I planned where I was going to study what I was going to do with my life I planned everything around going to the Olympics and everything was shattered at the age of 18 where one would think okay 18 you have your life in front of you sure. and I actually didn't know where I wanted to go and what did you do to change it because yes. you are there you were in Paris at Charlotte uh, competing <laughs> on, on Thursday uh, re-evaluating my life and I was thinking okay what made me happy and I said, you know what, running made me happy. And I phoned my coach back then and I told her, I want to run. I told her, I don't care how slow I am, if I come dead last, I want to run because it makes me happy. So my mom was corresponding with Germany. She was born in Germany and she came to TSV by Leverkusen. They were corresponding with one another and they said, come to Berlin, get classified. If it works, it's good. If it doesn't work, you have a lovely holiday in Germany. So my mom and myself, got in the plane, flew over to Germany, and uh, we got classified with the help of TSV by Leverkusen, and ever since I was competing for Germany. Fantastic story. <laughs> and I heard that there is a typical uh, South African word, like Umbutu. Uh, <laughs> what does it mean? It's something behind all this story. Yeah? So Ubuntu is, um, the word means, um, I am who I am because everyone around me. I am the person because everything that everyone helped me with. My mom helping me, my doctors helping me, my manager, my training, everyone helping me. I wouldn't have been the person I am today if it wasn't for them. I would say for athletes in general, this mental strength, it's really fantastic to, to find it. But with different athletes like you, it's even more. Where do you find this strength? Um, I would say I have a very good support system, like Ubuntu. <laughs> and um, the love that I have for the sports as well. And I try to do everything that, that every day, everything out of love. And uh, I just try to give my best. This is, this is definitely something we can get out of it. But, but uh, no, you, you are in Paris and what do you want to achieve in Paris? This year or next year? This year and next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have a couple of new youngsters with us and I hope to help them and um, inspire them. And I like to help them and um, I like to find a good ending to my athletics career next year. In terms of inclusion, what can you say about your personal experience? Uh, because let's let be honest, you have always the, the look, people are looking at you as someone different and it's definitely not easy on, on a daily basis. How do you manage this? I would say being different isn't that bad because it makes me special. Do you think that the society is doing enough for uh, people who are different like you? I think it, it's better than it was about 20 years ago. 
but we still have a long way to go. And what, what kind of message do you want to give to uh, young people who had an accident like, like you had? And w what kind of message do you want to give to them? I would definitely say never give up and don't listen to anyone if they tell you you can't do it. Believe in yourself and give it your all. And count on your Ubuntu. Exactly. <laughs> and count on your Ubuntu. Yes. Thanks a lot for this refreshing uh, discussion and I'm, I'm sure that uh, in a few days we will celebrate together. Thanks I hope so. Thank you. <laughs>